Kieran will be working with the strength and conditioning staff of PNG Sports Foundation on a two-year project. He will be testing the foundation's athletes before any travels around PNG and hosting open talent camps where 100 to 200 people could be tested. Kieran says much-needed support will be provided where talent hotspots are identified in the country. He says with lots of untapped talents across PNG that hasn't been known in the past, but once identified, they can be included into the talent pathway programs and hopefully upskill the talents to represent PNG in the future. Yeah, so what we're doing here, I'm here as an honours research student from James Cook University, and we partner with High Performance Papua New Guinea as part of the PNG Sports Foundation. And what we're trying to do is identify which areas in Papua New Guinea, I guess, are ripe with athletic talent. So areas which haven't been touched before as well as in the more mainstream areas of Port Moresby and Leigh. Director PNG High Performance Aaron Olsop says PNG High Performance is delighted to have Kieran in the country to help research and identify to scout potential sports reps of the future. Knowing that there's a, a real sort of strategy linked to this research is important. Um, and we're glad that we've got someone like Kieran on board here that's very passionate about what we can do with this information. Already enjoying the first couple of months of his research project with PNG Sports Foundation's high performance and sports medicine, Kieran is hoping his research will go a long way. He hopes to achieve PNG Sports Foundation's goal of making PNG one of the top 10 countries in the Commonwealth. So at the moment we are just working with the students, but Pretty soon we hope to extend that to working with national athletes as well as regional communities. So that'll be all encompassing. Ideally, once we have all this data collected from our talent identification program, we'd be able to uh, create a sort of talent hotspot map. So for example, if we were to test participants from Port Moresby, but their mother and father were from, say, WeWAC, and they all tested really well in, say, aerobic endurance, we'd be able to send resources funding as per the uh, Sports Foundation's wishes to really grow and develop sports that focus on those athletic attributes. Godwin Eki, National MTV Sports.